Usually, we find customers focus on three main areas. The first is around product and production design. The second we call smart factory. And the third is smart product. In the first area, what you're really trying to do is try to figure out, can you make your overall factory better? Can you make your manufacturing process better? Can you improve your yield? And in all those areas, one big challenge is often about simulation and modeling. AWS has the right services to allow you to do that on demand on the cloud. The second area we find our customers go to is around smart factory. And in manufacturing, you usually look at a key measure, which is the overall equipment effectiveness. You're looking at how effective is my factory. And in order to improve that figure, you're looking at things like downtime, you're looking at things like quality yield, you're looking at things like the flow of manufacturing. And all of those things are really important. Amazon can help connect all those equipment together, can help connect your site, can help with simulation, and can also help with visualization or visibility of how well your factory is running. The third area we see our customers adopting is smart product. And you can think of a, a technical or an IT product as sometimes being a smart product because it's connected, it might have an app, etc. But even if you have a product that is not very technical, that has nothing to do with IT, think of an adhesive or a paint, for example, you can still make that a smart product by looking at the overall customer experience. How does the customer find the product? How do they find how to use it, how to order it? One example I wanted to share is a customer who's in the home decor manufacturing business. And they're really supplying thousands and thousands of retailers across Asia Pacific. So they wanted to improve the way they run their factory. So the first thing they did is they adopted cloud services in order to look at the whole ERP system and how to actually improve the operational effectiveness of their factory. So they were able to achieve 30% better total cost of ownership by moving to AWS. But that's not all. They were also able to achieve a 50% IT staff efficiency, a 50% reduction in IT staff that's needed to support that ERP product. Now that 50% less staff needed for supporting an IT product, what they were able then to do is focus that team on looking at different areas of their business, such as the user experience, such as an important part, which is the ordering of their product, so they could ultimately provide a better smart product to their end consumers. You can really start at your comfort level. Think about what's important for the business. Don't just go, oh, this is the formula. Is it product and production design? Is it smart factory? Is it smart product? You don't have to do those things sequentially. You can go in whichever area is important to your business. So focus on what's important for the business and adopt cloud move now because that's just the first step. It'll give you immediate returns. And then once you've adopted cloud, you can then scale into the other services as needed.